New at 530, fire chief controversy in Ypsilanti. A new lawsuit alleges a fire chief was selected based on the color of his skin. 7 Action reporter Simon Chaket shows us who's making those claims and how the new chief is defending his promotion. A new lawsuit is going after both the city of Ypsilanti and elected leaders, saying they engaged in blatant race discrimination when it came time to picking a fire chief for their city. Attorney James Fett calls it an outrageous move rooted in racism. He's referring to the recent promotion of Ken Hobbs to fire chief after a contract was already signed with Livonia Fire Captain Phil Cam. According to a lawsuit being filed in Washtenaw County, Phil Cam is a victim of losing out on a job because he is white. The decision makers are all on record, much of it video, um, making it quite clear that they were interested in having only a black Fire chief. Cam has a bachelor's degree in business from U of M, a master's in public administration from EMU, and also he's graduated from a fire staff and command program at Eastern. He's worked as a tactical medic and grant writer. Fett says after he got the job, the mayor and city council rescinded the offer and gave it to Hobbs, predominantly because of his racial background. Today, Hobbs dismissed that claim in person. That was uh, 2017 Washington County Firefighter of the Year. This fire department and other ones have a lot of tradition in them. Our, we have a lot of tradition and inherited our department and all our all our chiefs have been internal. Chief Hobbs insists his long history with the city as a firefighter and strong reputation over decades among his peers helped him get the job. He also says he's a proud citizen of Ypsilanti who knows his community. As the city and its leaders face the potential of a trial and request for financial compensation, Hobbs tells us he's confident in the direction the department is moving in. In the meantime, the mayor has not returned calls for comment. The chief says another reason he is confident the city made the right choice is taking into account his more than 30 years as a firefighter plus six months as the interim chief. From Ypsilanti, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you. Well, a man who